This tutorial is designed to show you how to create a vector object using a georeferenced raster file as a source layer. Uh, we'll be using a GIS software called TNT MIPS or Micro Images to do this. And we'll start by um, creating or opening up a spatial data editor session. Close the tip of the day. And um, We'll start by adding our raster, so we'll say add raster single, and um, it's already pointed to that file, so I drill into the RVC and add the raster and say OK. And the first thing that we'll notice is that when we hover over the map, we see the coordinates here in the bottom move around as our cursor moves around, so that's how we confirm that this file is georeferenced. Um, and from there, then, we'll create a new vector object and accept the default saying basically that it's using the existing coordinate space and georeference for the new vector object. So we say OK and our vector tools pop up and so what we want to do is add a polygon and in this case we're going to um, come down here and hit the 1, 2, 3 for manual entry. Um, so we'll start, uh, what we're going to do is create a polygon that goes around the map so that we can later use it to clip the map out of the collar or remove the collar or however you want to describe what we're going to do. So we'll start by zooming in on the coordinates because we're going to punch in the coordinates to create our vector square. Um, so we'll start with longitude 17, 7 minutes, 30 seconds and you'll notice that when I hit tab it did not um, keep my entry there and that's because they have to come down here and set your coordinates to um, an entry that it can recognize. So we're going to use the North American NAD27 datum and our coordinate space is going to be entered in degrees on uh, just 2D longitude and latitude. So we'll say OK and then it populates here with our datum and our coordinate system. So um, try this again. <laughs> West, 117, 7 minutes, 30 seconds, and it holds, so we know we're doing it right. North, 33. And then we'll come down to the next one, and um, what I'm going to do is actually use a trick. I know that it's going to have the same longitude here along this side, so I don't need to actually hover over that, uh, that corner. I know that I can come up here and use that same longitude, West, 117, 7 minutes, 30 seconds, and then I'll just use this new latitude, which is 3307.30. And so now I'm on my third corner, and I'm going to use this new longitude of just 117, and we'll use that same latitude of 33, 7 minutes, 30 seconds. And then our final point um, to close will be west 117, and then that first longitude which is 33. So once we have our four, it'll auto-close back to the beginning and we say add and then that gives us the option to come over to our object and save that frame off. And so we're just going to give this a new file name of the same raster A1, we'll call it the frame. So that's how we know it's our vector. And see it says here vector type. We'll create the file. It's going to um, want the same object name and we'll say OK and it says only 24 seconds to save um, and we'll say OK again and um, then what we'll do is use a display to view that new object that we created so we'll go into our frame Oh, and it's letting us know that we have it open in the other window, so we're going to cancel that. Come over here and close our edit session. Third time's a charm. Close the edit session. No, here we go. Too many windows. Close the edit session. Okay. Try again. Add the frame. Add the vector. Say OK. And it gives us this lovely square that we've created. And that's it.